Question seven. The surface of a pond is covered by water lilies. Ah, oh, beautiful. The area of water lilies is denoted by A meter squared at T equals zero. A is 10. The area of T is 0.48. It's thought that eventually the lilies will cover the whole of the surface area of the pond. A biologist proposes that this situation is modelled by this different equation, where T is the time of days and K is a constant. Solve the equation to express A in terms of T and K. Here we go. We've got 1 over A plus 1 over 250 minus A. The A by the T is equal to K. Um, again, the, um, the kind of nice, gentle start to the paper continues a little bit here because they could have made this a lot worse. You, you know, all of the A expressions are already on the left hand side when A is on the top. That's where we want them. The right hand side doesn't involve any A's, so it's all in the right place. If we separate the variables and integrate, that's already kind of been done. The integral of 1 over A plus 1 over 250 minus A dA is the integral of K dt. So we integrate both sides, having split up the, the differential sign. Are you all right, Rob? Okay, you're, you're frowning at that. Um, 1 over A gives us ln A. If we integrate 1 over 250 minus A, we will need to have minus ln 250 minus A. I'm going to put in the modulus sign there because we should have them there, shouldn't we? Is equal to kt plus c because we need to put in the constant integration. Right, um, what, what have we got to on with this? Uh, express it in terms of T and K. <laughs> Stop laughing. Uh, if we sum in those values, uh, well, hang on. When T is 0, A is 10. Let's use that. If T is 0, A is 10. Um, what have we got? ln 240 is 0 plus c. So that's what c is. It's not really nice like that, is it? We could um, combine this logarithm because when you subtract, you would divide the term there. So this is ln of 1 over 24 is equal to c. We know that we would need to find, you know, use the initial conditions to find c, wouldn't we? So that's not an unreasonable thing to do. We've got ln a minus ln 250 minus A is equal to K times T plus ln 1 over 24. Um, and that's, that's great, but the question said express A in terms of T and K. So we have to make A the subject of this. So we're going to have to start combining some terms together. Uh, we've got natural log of a over 250 minus A. Um, actually, should we bring that in as well at this point? So that minus the natural log of 1 over 24. I'm, I'm making a bit of a mess of this actually, I think. Uh, this minus ln 24, that's if we take the minus up to the power that would make it reciprocal of that. So that is times ln 24. So this is the natural log of 24A over 250 minus a is k times t. Now we're ready to get rid of the logarithms, so we raise both sides as power of e. Uh, 24a over 250 minus a is e to the kt. Uh, we've, still, we've still got a bit of work to do because we've got to end up... I did this differently. Didn't I? Anyway, we've, still, we've got to end up, haven't we, with... Uh, this in terms of, actually I'm going completely different to how I did this when I did this, that's fun. Um, we've got to end up with this in terms of the thing that we want, so this is 24a is, uh, let's multiply through straight away, 250e to the kt minus a e to the kt. I've ended up with a really awkward um, way of doing this. Am I doing this right? Yeah. I feel like I'm just going to end up with a slightly irritating answer. It is right. Yeah. We've got A lots of 24 plus E to the KT is 250. 
e to the kt. So a is 250e to the kt over 24 plus e to the kt. That is by by no means is that a unique answer. There are lots of ways that you could have arranged that. Um, lots of equivalent versions of that. I, I've got a slightly different version looking at it when, when I did it last uh, summer. But that's that's where you are. Uh, right. That was the first part. That was six marks. Then it said find the value of k. Well, k is going to come from the differential equations. So think what they told us at the start of the question. They told us that when t was 0 and a was 10, the rate of change was 0.48. We can use that to find out k because we've got the differential equation right at the beginning. We're not going to find it from what we found out. And when we do part 2, uh, the a by dt is 0.48 when a equals 10 and k uh, t equals 0. That's, that's t. <coughs> that was given in the question there. So that is 1 over 1 over 10 plus 1 over 240. times dA by dt is equal to k. Is that right? Um, and if we now multiply both sides, oh, that's times 0.48. So that is 1 over 10 plus 1 over 240 times 0.48 is equal to k. And, and if you just Stick that in your calculator, you get k is a uh, 20, is it? One. Yeah. There we are. And the last part says, uh, assuming the model is reliable, find the surface area of the pond. Well, again, there's, there's not an awful lot going on with this, is there? Um, the surface area of the pond, if you look at this, uh, there's, a, there's an issue, isn't there, as A approaches 250, we would we'd have a problem there because we'd start dividing by zero as we get close to 250. Um, if we think about our equation that we've got here, as, um, as t gets very, very large, then um, we'd end up with that approaching 250. It's kind of 250 <coughs> is all jumping out of the system. As t approaches, very large number that approaches 250. Is that, is that enough just to um, We're happy with that. So part three, we are going to say that's 250. Uh, again, it's a question that you could probably have done without without having done the rest of it, and, and that's quite an important thing to look at. That both both parts two and part three are things that you could have done if you'd scored zero on part one. And you've got to be aware of that, because things could go wrong. Exactly. You could mess that up, be ready to jump back in for questions. That's my